is Dennis Serkin. Well, before the war, my life was like yours. I was a high school student, socializing with my friends, hanging out and probably doing the things I shouldn't have been doing, making stupid decisions. I was a typical teenager. I had decided it was during the Vietnam conflict or war. I was always patriotic to start with. I wasn't exactly happy at home. It was my way to get away from home. So I went down and I joined the Army. It was the first war that we actually could see happening. Media, technology. You could see within hours of exactly what was happening in war. It was the first time that the American public saw what was actually happening at war and how cruel it was. The hilltop was strewn with dead. 200, 200 of them, like this one. North Vietnamese regulars. What I would change is the loss of friends. But we're talking about conflict and war. You're gonna lose people that you care about. When I came home, we flew into uh, Seattle area up to Fort Lewis and we were brought back in and give them fresh uniforms so that we could go home and you know spend time with our families and we were going home on leave before our next assignment. I put on my uniform, my nice fresh clean uniform when we got back and we were taken to uh, SeaTac which is the um, airport there in Seattle. We got called names, we got spit at, I was proud of the uniform that I wore. By the time that I got home, all of a sudden it felt dirty. I just couldn't wait to get it off. We were the ones that were um, being um, ostracized, yet all we did was our duty. For the longest time thereafter, even though I was still in the military, the only people you could talk to were those in the military with you. And you surely didn't tell them that you were a Vietnam veteran. Uh, I made that mistake one time. Uh, I was with a friend who had invited me to a party, and I went to this party. I'm wearing civilian clothing. Of course, I still had a military haircut. And, um, somebody uh, asked me what, uh, what I did and I told them I was in the military and they asked me if I'd been in Vietnam. I said, yes. Do you know nobody the rest of the evening would talk to me? Every war affects people uh, that aren't involved. The people here at home were affected. Our families were affected. They weren't involved in the war like I was. I was, I was boots on the ground going through jungles up in the Central Highlands but everybody is affected. Your protesters, they were a result of that effect. I don't know if I've normalized yet. I don't know if anybody normalizes afterwards. You have to remember, we took a time of innocence and it was destroyed. We've been raised our whole lives that thou shalt not kill. That we shouldn't be causing harm to others, and then we're trained to go out there and hurt people. We carry a strange guilt within us that we probably never get over. So I don't know if you ever totally normalize. You do your best to assimilate back into society. <laughs>